Eccentric Nation Wagwan. Welcome to another episode of New Paradigm. And I'm your host, Eccentric. And as usual, this is how I'm going to my mind. Alright, so today, today I feel like talk about, uh, how should I put it? Fatherly responsibilities and uh, abortions and all. Like, I personally believe that fathers should have a say in, uh, in the birth of the child are the responsibilities of the child so to speak like in modern day society where abortions are so easily accessible it is 100 percent a woman's choice if she wants to carry a child in this world like if she gets pregnant she can do an abortion it is 100 percent her choice and her decision if she decides that she wants to carry a child in this world and i believe that men should have a say in this now for all the people who are going to talk about Abstinence is the way to prevent pregnancy. That is bullshit. Sex needs to happen. I mean, let's just live with it. We are human beings and we need to mate. It is a natural need of human beings to mate. So, take abstinence out that sex is gonna happen. And things can happen like, men don't talk about people who just kill this and just I do things. So, men talk about people who actually take precautions but make mistakes because mistakes do happen so a condom may break uh, birth control may fail because birth control is uh, like 99% um, sure and then the next 1% you're not sure about it so birth control may fail a condom may break you may forget to take, to take your pill as a woman or something of that sort so I'm not talking about the people who are careless I talk about people who actually take the necessary precautions and things still happen. Like, I believe that uh, young men should have a say in this. Now, watch the video. A new study claims when young women have abortions, the young fathers benefit. That is this week's Speak Out segment. The University of Utah published a study in the Journal of Adolescent Health claiming young men who, before the age of 20, were involved in a pregnancy ending in abortion were more likely to pursue higher education and graduate from college compared to young fathers whose partners chose life. The study examined a group of nearly 600 men. 23% of those pregnancies before the age of 20 ended in abortion. The lead author of the study told Reuters, quote, we never discuss male partners and how they may benefit from access to abortion. And of course, I want to point out that she's pro-life and she's totally against abortions. Like, what do you mean, Tone? And I see this young youth, significantly younger than me. I know him from him a primary school. And I see him get a girl pregnant and him have a youth. No, youth are about one year old or so. And two of them young, I realize, say, by just looking at them, I see them a struggle. See you get a little work at the air in a supermarket and thing. And more well, I see the youth him look drained, him look mash up. And people might look for him and say, okay, this is a good man. This is a real man. This man takes responsibility. And that is good. Because if as a youth, you, you know, you take your responsibility, you take responsibility and you decide if you take care of your youth and take care of your baby mother. That is very good. That is commendable. Now, if that was his autonomous decision, if that was their autonomous decision as a couple to say, all right, we're going to have this child and we're going to do what we have to do, even if we're going to suffer, we want to have this child. If that was their autonomous decision, then no problem at all. But if it was due to pressure or due to the stigma that is placed on abortions, then I just say a problem come in. And why I say that? Because many people, many people make decisions as it relates to having children based upon what the general public or the people around them would think. I've heard this girl say that she didn't want to have the child. She wanted to do an abortion but because of the way she was raised, she didn't do it. The child was born and then the child, there, she's suffering, she's struggling when she could have done an abortion. She's not ready to be a mom, but because of the stigma that is placed on abortions and because of what people are going to say, she decided that, okay, she can't live with that. She can't live with being called a woman who has eaten her child. So she went ahead 
wanted to carry the child even though she was not ready and the father was not present in that child's life. Now one of the major problems with society today is that many children are being born out of wedlock. And I not, I'm not really like use the word wedlock because I don't really believe in this institution of marriage. But wedlock in a sense that both parents are together, both parents are spiritually mature and both parents love each other and are willing to work it out. Wedlock in that sense, not in the sense that you signed a government contract to say we are, to, we are gonna be together and if we should break up then the person who has more is gonna split his assets in half or her assets in half or the other. That's rubbish, bullshit. So yeah, back to my point, I believe that young men should have a say in it because if you look at it in a real life, more well a man not ready to be a father. More well a man have goals and a man have dreams and a man have things I need to do. But because he had sex and this girl is now pregnant, I mean, he has to take up this responsibility. I believe that there should be a legislation where a, a, a man can sign off that is before the birth of the child or before the child has reached certain months before the, 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 um, the pregnancy has reached like six months or so a man, a man should be able to sign off like as soon as they found out that they are pregnant that hey uh, I don't want any responsibilities as it relates to this the two adults adults you know what it means adults mature people should be able to come together and make a decision as it relates to the life of that thing growing inside the woman. Now, I know this is something that most people don't want to talk about, especially women, but sometimes the man is not ready for youth yet. Sometimes things just happen. Some man kill is for real because some man knows them broke and yet they are broke in a people girl pick me. And then when baby man out, but now they are broke in a people shop to find something for feed baby. And then when them go to jail, they have to try to broke out the jail says the bag broke that. So I would advise that, you know, on a protect on yourself first, I don't tell nobody to abstain because sex needs to happen. And while I believe that you should be able to transcend your limbic system or you should be able to transcend your emotions and live without sex for a while if you are going after a goal, sex is still necessary. So let's just deal with that. But I believe that there should be a system in place for the fathers because the law as it relates to children and the law in general is just there for women if you look at it and the man them not really have no say because sometimes we, we genuinely not ready for youth yet sometimes we can't, we're not ready to be a father yet not because we are run from responsibilities but because we want to set our life in a certain way before we take up that role, that responsibility of fatherhood because I believe that a man shouldn't have a child or a man shouldn't impregnate a girl at certain age why am I say that? because I, I would a 19 year old like alright all right, hold on let's say you inherit some form of wealth from your people them are you have money as a young youth and you have time not just money but time as well because you need to spend time with the youth you know say so you have money and you have time you're financially well off and you're free then sure, you can go ahead and have a child early. But for your youth, one will say, all right, him grow up a certain way, and him life set a certain way, and him have to do certain things. If you get out of the situation where I'm in right now, if he grow financially and spiritually, then him shouldn't look for being a father. The youth will still want to have sex, because as I say, it's a natural thing for human beings to feel the need to mate. So the youth will still want to have sex, but I don't believe that. He should be a father. I believe that when you set your life on a certain level, when you when you are free, when you have financial freedom, and by financial freedom I mean you don't have to wait for your next paycheck before you can do so. You don't have to be tied to a workplace where you can't spend the time with your youth. That may talk about when financial freedom. So you need to have that. And also you need to have the mindset because people they realize say you need to have a certain mindset in order to be a parent and a just mother and father thing you can't just hide behind the, the title of mother or behind the title of father you know do what you need to do 
And now I don't talk about money. I don't talk about being in the child's life. Because no father give up in everything they want. Tablet, phone, laptop, food, bicycle. Every damn thing. Close the money. But the, the thing what the child really want, really needs actually, which is attention. A human attention. From parents that not did it, done at all. So all the little things you want to give me, you know, matter not at all because you're going to make the grow up to be a certain way. You understand? So this whole parenthood thing, yeah, it take more than just I am a mother and I am a father and I take care of my child because I work hard to ensure that he, he or she gets a good education. It's way more than that. So I believe that we should take the stigma of abortions, we should legalize abortions so that people can make autonomous decisions as to whether or not they want to carry that child without being looked at as an evil person, as a murderer because you cannot murder something that is not yet alive and that is for a whole nother day so yes I believe that and I believe that men, young men should have a say in whether or not they want to be a father regardless of the fact that his sperm was actually what impregnated the girl. And I know this is kind of hard for people to wrap their head around, but just think about it.